The joint global multinational project BIRDS2 was launched in November 2016. The project consists of 11 postgraduate students from Bhutan, Japan, Malaysia and the Philippines. It is a satellite classified as CubeSat. It was ejected from Japan's Kibo on the International Space Station ISS on August 10, 2018. It orbits at about the same altitude as the ISS at about 400 kilometers. be jointly controlled and operated by the Philippines, Bhutan, and Malaysia. The mission of Maya 1 is experimental testing of commercial equipment, it is also a cost-effective education platform that helps Filipinos build future satellites. The operating period of the satellite is about six months to about one year. Diwata 2 the successor to Diwata 1, was developed jointly with Hokkaido University, Tohoku University, Institute of Advanced Science and Technology of the Philippine, Ministry of Science and Technology, and the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Like Diwata 1, Diwata 2 captures images for national environmental monitoring and post-disaster assessment, the payload is the same but with a wide field camera, WFC, middle field camera, MFC, precision telescope, HPT, and liquid crystal. Tunable filter, LCTF, it is more sophisticated and improved, in addition, amateur radio units for emergency communications satellite orientation modules for improved pointing accuracy and future satellite development initia deployable solar panels to improve power output enhanced resolution camera and spaceborne multispectral image is also provided Diwata 2 needed to be placed on a high altitude orbit to obtain a long life of over five years JAXA is implementing for open recruitment of micro-satellites that utilizes the surplus capacity of the H-2A rocket with the aim of broadening the scope of space development and utilization and contributing to human resource. Utilizing this, Diwata-2 was launched from the Tanegashima Space Center of Japan on October 29. 2018, Manila time it started to orbit the universe at 12.51 pm, like Diwata 1, Diwata 2 captures images for national environmental monitoring and post-disaster assessment, in addition to the optical payload, it also has an amateur radio unit, it aims to promote awareness and interest in the country's amateur radio and satellite technology. It also aims to provide an alternative means of communication in the event of a disaster or emergency. Compared to the Diwata 1, it can operate at higher altitudes, has a long life of over 5 years, orbits are sun synchronous, allow constant revisit intervals, and monitor the environment in specific areas, make it possible.